you're not going to believe this, but this pristine Amiga 500 release 6, I'm having a problem with the keyboard. That's like three out of the four Amigas that I've had have had keyboard problems. And when I set this down and wrap and, and do this, the keyboard has uh, the, the flashing light changes its cadence. So I think we have another, yet another broken solder joint on an Amiga 500 keyboard. It's difficult to tell over video, but this keyboard is blinking three times, indicating a problem with the keyboard processor chip. Okay, so let's take a look at this under my USB microscope. Um, this is the underside of the chip right here, um, and you can see that a lot of the solder joints, if you can see it, I'm using a second flashlight to, to illuminate it, but a lot of the solder joints uh, just don't have enough solder on them, and that can be a problem. It can lead to cracking really easily. I'm going to scroll over to the connector that goes actually to the keyboard membrane, and it has some really poor connections as well, including this one right here. It's actually cracked and there's you can see that it really is lacking in the amount of solder that's on it. So we'll continue scrolling around and looking at solder joints um, using a second flashlight. The USB microscope does have its own illumination. I'm using a second flashlight to illuminate the pads in different uh, angles so that you could potentially see better any uh, cracks that might be in the solder. Here's another section of the keyboard processor chip. It's interesting the way those first three pins on the right have been bent over before soldering. This one here looks like it might have a crack. Just going to continue to scan around for other trouble areas. In this section of this board are where the wires that go to the motherboard are attached. You can see that it looks pretty crusty. A lot of leftover flux. Here we see the connection for the power and drive LEDs. This is another area that seems to be saturated in old flux. So that's basically it. After I reflowed the solder on the underside of the keyboard processor board, uh, the keyboard worked fine. Um, you can see the technique of hitting the processor with your finger or a plastic tool or something like that to try to get it to fail. It's a great way to diagnose the problem. Uh, if you are able to get it to duplicate with that sort of uh, technique, 
then you're pretty much assured that it's going to be a broken solder joint or something very similar. The keyboard is connected to the Amiga and the Amiga is powered on at this point. And you can see that the caps lock key is no longer blinking.